so this is your last call if you guys don't know we usually look at the vendors at the end of the week usually on sundays i was participating in the day one unfortunately we didn't get it but it's all good uh we were gonna we're gonna be looking at eight of one banshee Zer and Eververse in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. All really does help. Other than that, dark. Oh, actually, I got to look at the fit for, fit for the video. So uh, this is kind of spoilers, but this is the new exotic that we just got, which is gifted conviction. Um, I'm making fashion for this one and the new other one because I finally am able to get all of the armor the new armor i just have to get an exotic engram for the titan and warlock because the titan already has one of the exotics the warlock i'm still doing the campaign but I'll, i'm gonna get their exotic eventually so yeah i really like this set a uh, helmet shadow mask polar predators for the arms the dendrite shimmer strides for the boots and then Ephrodite's iron cloak for the cloak for the exotic like i said it's the new one and for the shader welded brass so yeah i i think this is going to be the set that i'm going to be making for the video because i'm going to be making a video for all of the exotics and i'm going to be making a set for the ornaments as well because they did get ornaments um i don't think i'm going to be picking up any of the ornaments because they're only they're silver only this season which is kind of unfortunate and if i'm being honest a lot of the exotics I'm not interested in, uh, the new ones. This one definitely I'm not picking up, even though it's awesome. I don't see myself realistically using this. So let me know what you guys think about the new exotics. For the armor, it's all right here. I definitely think all of the armor should be picked up, uh, specifically just because it's really old armor and it's D1 armor at that. But if you guys were like, no, I just want to pick one, which one do you think I should pick up? Then, uh, let me go to the armor set real quick so I can sh tell you guys which set you guys need to pick up. So, Hunters, I think the helmet, the chest piece, and the cloak are the three that I think are the best pieces. The boots are definitely the worst and the arms definitely are usable, but I would say the helmet and the chest piece are legitimately the best ones. The cloak is really cool. I just, I don't know, it just feels different than the D1 set, which is why I'm kind of annoyed with it. For the Titans, I'm gonna be honest, I like a lot of it, like a lot of it. I just don't ever use it because it's really small, at least for females. I haven't tried it on the males yet, but I like the helmet a lot. I think the arms are cool. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. I think the boots are really cool. And then the mark is kind of like whatever's. Warlocks, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I like a lot of it. The arms are, or the helmet is really cool. I think the helmet is fucking cool as shit. Funnily enough, there's an exotic in D1 that is this helmet, which is hilarious to me um the arms are pretty decent i think the chest piece is super dope i think the boots are pretty decent and i think the bond is even cool even though it's just an iron band so let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up from 801 did we skip shaders we did skip shaders let's go to shaders right now i guess dark omelon um i am not the biggest fan of the shader i'm gonna be honest with y'all uh like i want to like it i, I want to like it i just don't really care for it we have the Mad Monk. I will still have the Mad Monk in the back of my pocket because look at this black. It is super dope. Um, other than it's still a pretty decent color as well. Like it is really, really cool. Really cool dark color. And then New Monarchy Succession, which is the second shader, which looks decent. It's not bad. Definitely not the, not like a Warmind uh, New Monarchy shader because that shader is fucking atrocious. But this is decent. As for Banshee, he's selling Chroma Rush with heating up and kill clip. That's actually, that's actually good. Um, oh no, if, if this was Rampage, I think this would have been perfect because this is the one that just activates on kill. This one activates on reload. So it's still really good. It's just not the, the pair that I like. I like the ones where it pairs with each other. So this one's with Rampage. There's one that pairs with kill clip because it it uh, activates on reload as well, but this is still really good. I'd still recommend people to pick this one up. Uh, True Prophecy with Rangefinder and Demo. Farewell with Tunnel Vision and Adrenaline Junkie. Distant Timulus, uh, Tumu whatever. Uh, Genesis Opening Shot and then Temptations Hook with Relentless Strike and Whirlwind Blade, which would be good if it wasn't a caster frame, I guess. Um, yeah. 
So that's pretty much it for Banshee. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Banshee. I wish there was still, I wish there was more to, to do there. But yeah, let me get this real quick. Mm, really? Okay. And as for Zer, he's uh, in the tower, I think, like permanently. Uh, he's right here, which for my old D D2 players, he's where uh, fucking, uh, oh God, I forget his name. What's his name? Drifter? Yeah. It's where Drifter used to be. Uh, for for old people, yeah, this is where Drifter used to be. Uh, this is where Zer is now, which is pretty cool, I guess. So, he's a little bit different now. He sells a variety of things. We're going to be going through everything and then look at the armor because armor is right here. So, yeah, this is going to be ranked stuff. I'm not going to be going through that, but he's selling Sunshot Catalyst, which is pretty cool. I already have it, obviously. Uh, the Jotun Catalyst, which, again, I already have. And then for exotics, we have Raiju's Harness with, damn, <laughs> that's pretty decent actually. 25 recovery, 18 intellect, that's pretty wild. Uh, Lion Ramparts with, it's not the worst I've seen. Um, bump up their resilience to a plus 10, you have 18, so you'll have a 22, no, 20 and a 22 on Masterwork, which is decent. And then Variety's Brow which mobility at 10 I'm not a big fan of and then you can get three engrams for third 23 strange coin which strange coin I think you just get it from just doing stuff and then this is gonna be some offers so favor of the nine when you earn a strange coin there is a chance of receiving a bonus strange coin this stacks multiple times oh spend additional strange coins to unlock this item okay cool loyalty program of the nine that's funny Strange material offers. Oh, you can get these for strange coins now? That's cool. <clears throat> okay. This is gonna be crazy. This I don't know the loot pool for the strange gift, but I let's find one. Blue, you gave me a blue? Wow. Thanks, I guess. Um and then for okay, hold on. No, the the so exotic ciphers on this page, and then for the strange gear. So we're we're gonna go down. So exotics is going to be Hawk Moon with Surplus, Cerberus Plus One, Trinity Ghoul, and Queen Breaker, and then you can get an exotic here as well. Um, for, I guess, strange... And these random weapons from Zer... So is it any weapon? Oh shit, it is any weapon. So I would love to see Zer's pool now because seven, that's a lot. So for the weapons, Farewell with Subsistence and Frenzy, Shepherd's Watch with Outlaw and Frenzy, Last Perdition with Under Pressure and Zen Moment, Hollow Words with Slideways and Unrelenting, Steel Sybils Z14 with Relentless Strikes and Assassin's Blade, Just In Case with Relentless Strikes and Incandescent, and then Quick Fang with Relentless Strikes and Assassin's Blade. For the armor, it's going to be the Season of Opulence armor, and I am a big fan of this armor. That being said, there are some pieces that are way better than others, so we're going to go to collections again because I don't remember the titans no i just remember okay no i remember all of it but i still kind of wanna where would this be actually this wasn't season armor this was uh world armor i'm pretty sure technically very big technically yeah there it is all right so for the hunters helmet is super dope i think the arms are decent because they are symmetrical um, the chest piece is a variation of the armor that we just saw, the D1 armor inspired set. So if you want another variation of that chest piece, this one's going to be your pick. The boots are pretty decent, and I think the cloak is really, really cool. That being said, just be aware that any purple stone that you see does not change color. That is true for everyone, which is very unfortunate. Titans, I think the helmet is decent. I think the arms, symmetrical again. I think the chest piece is whatever. Boots are really cool. And then the cloak or the mark i wish we had that mark in game like a like a better version of it because it's one of my favorite marks from d1 and for the warlocks helmet is really cool the chest piece is really cool especially if you want another iron banner uh inspired look because it is iron banner um the arms are decent the chest pieces or the boots or whatever and then the bond is definitely whatever so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. Uh, let me know what you guys think about his new format. I think it's really cool. Um, I wonder. Hold on. Purchasing items from Zer with Strange Coins grants reputation, earn armor and weapons at each rank, and powerful upgrades at major ranks. Uh, excuse me. So, 
can get weapons from him. I I really want I really want to know his loot pool just to see how like what what he is actually selling. I'm happy he has a loot pool now, like like a legit one instead of like it didn't feel like he had a loot pool before, so that's what I mean. This one also ran contains random armor pieces as well. Let me see. So, oh, fuck. This is crazy. Okay. So it's basically like all of his old shit you can essentially get, which is pretty crazy. Far future. Wow. All right. Let me know what you guys think about Zer. Crazy. As for Eververse, we have Long Journeys, which is a new shader. Definitely pick it up. Damn, it looks really cool with this set. I might actually switch to the new shader because this looks dope. We have Colio Petra, which looks okay. Um, Intrepid Discovery Grips. So I. So I really like this armor set, um, a lot of it. I definitely would recommend all of you guys to pick the arms up for each of the classes, um, just because they are really cool. Maybe skip the Warlock one because Warlock one is not. Actually, let me just go show you real quick before, before I start saying this shit. All right, so it's going to be Universal Ornaments. It's all the way at the bottom. So this is the armor. I love this armor. This armor is super dope. I may make videos on it because if they're selling the arms and they're probably going to be selling the whole set. <laughs> Yeah, so I might make a PSA of like I'm making this set into videos. So if you guys want, definitely pick them up. That being said, they're in the store. They're not going anywhere. So if you do want to pick them up, you can spend 15 bucks or you can get them for Bright Dust, which is what I would do. Uh, Titans, I love these arms. These are arms are one of my favorite arms that I use constantly. I have to veto myself from using it most of the time because, again, I use it all the time, but it's amazing. And yeah, if you want to like a very like minimalistic like armor set for or like minimalistic plate armor for your Titan, this is going to be the best one because this isn't, I don't even think this is armor. This looks more like plastic to me, but it's probably armor. Um, and then Warlocks, you guys have um, this one. I'm not the biggest fan of this one because they're asymmetrical and they kind of have to go with the armor set. So... The thing is, like right here, it's like a long sleeve, like a uh, rolled up shirt st style for this one. And for this one, it's just armor. So that's why I say I'm not the biggest fan of it. That being said, if you have an asymmetrical chest piece, which it has cloth right here and then armor on the other side, then it's going to look really cool. So it's all of just like, do you see the potential or not? I definitely don't on some of these pieces, but that's just me. So that is the armor for ever for yeah for Eververse. I would recommend it just because it is cool. Actually, can we see the full set? can't okay let me just show you the oh i'm not on my world never mind um but yeah let me go back so dance off and then for the stuff at the bottom we have gilded cage which i don't really care for this one. it looks cool definitely looks cool i just like the ornament that i have on it more uh acolyte's ambition which definitely pick up it's really really cool and you guys will be missing out if you don't pick this up titans and warlocks i if i remember correctly titans you guys are getting an ornament for lorelei splendor which is the valkyrie one this one right here i definitely would recommend you guys to pick this one up it's really really cool unfortunately bungie fucked us over and chit and slate doesn't turn off the glow anymore which is very unfortunate because one of a lot of actually chit and slate i really crutched on for a lot of my my build so that way it can turn off the, sh the glow uh the same thing for the other shader this one right here testudo they destroyed it you used to not or actually this testudo i think used to have the white but either way i don't even know if we have any shaders that turn off glows anymore aside from i think iron to steel does nope yeah so very unfortunate that bungie did this because now i'm gonna have to go with the glow as well which sucks because i had a specific look for this helmet that had it was so cool if i have it on screen i'll have it up or if i had if i remember i'll have it up right now but it was one of my favorite looks that i made and yeah bungie just kind of fucked this over which is very unfortunate um for warlocks it's actually gonna be for don chorus it's specifically this one right here phoenix resonance it's one of my favorite looks um i don't use don chorus all that much if i'm being quite honest uh but this exotic this ornament would make me use it just because it looks amazing so 
Warlock Titan Hunters, let me know what you guys think about the ornaments that you guys are going to be getting. I definitely think you should get all of them just because fashion wise they're amazing. For the ship rapid response, which is a very chunky boy, we have Wasteland Racer, which, do I have this? Not enough space. Hmm. Thinking about getting this one because it looks cool. That's rare for me. I really never pick up these. It does look cool. I'm thinking about getting it. All done. We have Bailing Water. And then we have the Transmet effects, which are the Ghost Purple. We have Tiger effects. We have Reef Oracle. Damn, my voice cracked there. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me show you one more time. <laughs> that way. I just looked at it once and I was like, alright, leave. Uh, Groovodelic for the shader. This doesn't look bad either. We have uh, Growing Guilt. Rustberry. And then Golden Age Wine. So that is pretty much it for everything. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. So, uh, let me just apologize real quick that this is coming out on Monday. I usually like to put these out on Sunday so that way you guys have more time to get what, or more time for people to see the video and be like, okay, this is leaving, this is leaving. All right, let me get that real quick. Um, but I have been up, I've been doing a lot of things. I've been staying up late specifically. I was doing day one raid. Unfortunately, we didn't get, we got stuck at the second encounter and then uh, we took like an, like an hour. No. Yeah, we took a break. We fell asleep. And then the next day we tried it again and the second encounter just literally fucked us over so we decided to take an hour break and one of the team was like i can't come and kind of just shattered from there which is fine considering like honestly i kind of didn't even want to do the day one like don't get me wrong i was excited to do it but i was told uh way late i was told like three days before the raid came out and if i had known i was doing the raid i would have done bounties ahead of time i would i would have like been prepared and this time around i would I didn't know I didn't think I was gonna be doing the raid until like my friend told me but uh, let's talk about what I'm actually working on so hunters we already did the campaign obviously the new exotics are here so let me let me look at this real quick so for hunters and Titans the campaigns already done I have recorded all of it I'm gonna be posting it th throughout the whole like throughout the whole weeks and months because it's a lot um, I'm probably going to do Hunter first, then Titan, and then Warlock. And then throughout the whole thing, I'm going to be working on armor sets. So for right now, uh, I already have all of the First Ascent armor, which is the armor from the, uh, the, the Traveler. Cool thing, though, is the fact that once you unlock this armor, you actually unlock it for everyone. So you only have to unlock it on one character and everyone else gets it automatically. Your collections is it's there. So that's really cool. Um, I've already recorded the review video and the shader video. I just have to do the individual character video, which is going to be wild because a lot of these pieces, I'm like, this looks cool. And others, I'm like, wow, I'm going to, this is a lot of work because I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, specifically, I'm looking at Warlocks for that one because Warlocks, a lot of it's like just mm, okay okay hunters a little rough as well but i'm excited to use the new armor the other thing is i'm excited to use the new seasonal armor because this is cool not only that i'm gonna be buying the um the Dr dungeon and dragon armor because that's what i usually do um so i have three armors that i'm gonna be looking at this season and technically four if we look at this armor right here so yeah i got a lot of things planned and this is just armor itself i'm also planning some other content as well um specifically the ornaments that's um not ornaments for those actually because i i would make those into a video actually how am i doing this because exotics usually get their own video, but these exotics have worn. Actually, you know what? I'm probably just going to combine the exotic ornament and the ex and the new exotics into one video. So that way you can all see everything in one video instead of two. Yeah, that makes sense a little bit more. Because unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but kind of unfortunately, the new exotic ornaments that we got this season are for the new ones. Which is kind of unfortunate because... Uh, 
I don't like these two exotics at all. Um, I, I've tried this one. It's not that great. I haven't tried this one, but on paper, I just don't seem like it's going to be cool. Other thing is I'm going to be making a video for the still hunt, specifically like a fashion video related to that one. So because this is cool. This is one of my favorite exotics right now. So let's just say I have a lot of content to go through. And this is not even going through the fact that I will be making a weapons video soon, which that's going to be fun. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.